Good morning, class twelve. Welcome to your education online class. We were discussing the chapter Secondary Education Commission, and uh, in the last video, we have seen the introductory part of it, and we have seen that uh, on twenty third September nineteen fifty three, the report of Secondary Education Commission was published by the chairmanship of Doctor Lakshmana Swami Mudaliar, who was the uh, vice chancellor of Madras University that time. now first after uh, establishing uh, the commission he has detected many some uh, defects or problems existing in the secondary education commission now as i have um, discussed that number of schools were more than enough but the quality of education which was provided was not up to the mark so for uh, for betterment of the Uh, uh, that present condition of uh, the education, the de uh, defects must be detected, and that reason he has detected some problems which were existing that time. So number one was isolated from life. So education which was provided, uh, see, uh, according to the changes of the society, according to the need of the society, we are changing our way of working, we are changing our need, we are changing our demand. Every day we are changing ourselves. We are uh, proceeding towards betterment, isn't it? So education must be given in a way so that it fulfills the need and demand of the life. But that time the education which we detected first that the education which is provided is totally isolated from life. It is not benefiting anyone. So what is the requirement of keeping that type of education? So he decided to change the syllabus. change the topic of education which is uh, which must associate we must be associated with life which will help the um, help the student to bring out the problems uh, bring out the solution from the problems so first problem which was detected by mudaliar was it is isolated from life secondly it failed to develop individual personality see when a uh, a problem is not uh, according to the life according to the need of the life or according to the demand of the individual how individual personality will develop isn't it when it is not fulfilling my wish when uh, suppose what i am doing if it does not satisfy me am i able to satisfy you people it is never possible okay because uh, when i am not satisfied and when i am providing you something you will also not be pro satisfied isn't it so uh, the obviously when it is not fulfilling the demand of life well it is not reaching up to the mark when the quality of education is not provided so uh, the quality is not up to the mark so it is also hampering the development of individual personality means maybe they are getting education but they are unable to fight with the society but and uh, moreover they are unable to fight with the problems they are facing so we need not not only to learn but we need experience isn't it unless and until we experience something more how can we fight with the others so the uh, he failed to develop individual personality so the quality of education which was provided is not reaching to the life it is not um, fulfilling the needs and demands of life and moreover it uh, the it is not helping the individual to develop his personality thirdly too much worry to have uh, to take further steps now see the um, teachers uh, the um, teachers are teaching but the students those who are coming they are not taking keen interest in in education because uh, just af after independence in 1947 Uh, in 1952, a new report was published, and people were terribly worried that when we are taking some extra steps, will something again happen? And uh, just we ha we have received a peaceful life just now after the independence. We were free from the British rule and British dominance. Now, if we take some steps, if we do something, will it hamper our peaceful life? So this become why and. people started um, thinking that no we will not stay for uh, any further good steps so what is running let it run like that 
the uh, maybe some schools were under british rule majority of the schools maybe and that's why uh, the entire system if it will there will be a change then that may can hamper the life of individual and that make them worry that feel them worry that what we are doing is uh, is it good or it will um, turn to a worse result okay so this is all about uh, the second video of secondary education commission uh, in the third continuing video we will um, discuss some more problems of uh, which prevalent uh, which was prevalent on that time thank you